Hello and welcome. Over the next few slides and the next few minutes, I want to give a very quick and high level overview about my training program on QTP, how it is conducted. So what we will start off with first is uh, why QTP, what is QTP actually? So HP Quick Test Professional and shortly called as QTP happens to be the market leader in test automation tools. It is very powerful uh, with all the built-in features that it has uh, to perform functional and regression testing on different types of applications. It also happens to be boasting of a very, very large user community, which uh, gives uh, the learning process, the support, help needed to build different regression test suites easier. It also happens to have a very, very large and growing job market and we see a huge trend of manual testers moving from being a non-automation experts to automation experts and QTP is the most desired tool. There is a strong and a large uh, return on investment that organizations achieve uh, which makes them make these investments and seek uh, developers or automation engineers with QTP knowledge. Uh, this is primarily towards enabling them to be able to execute faster, more reliable and comprehensive testing on their applications as they move through their various enhancements and development life cycles. The QTP tool also has uh, built-in features which are very powerful. It has add-ins that can be used to work on various applications, be it your SAP Siebel, J2E, .NET or even a simple web-based or a Windows-based application. The VB script which is used in the backend to customize uh, the workflow of how the automation process happens uh, makes it very uh, adoptable uh, and also makes us be able to call these tests from HP Quality Center or other external databases. The most important part uh, and what makes QTP a success is the automation frameworks and uh, this enables uh, non-QTP developers to execute QTP scripts and it is also has uh, various other advantages that uh, make them famous. So at a high level these are the topics that would get covered in a 25 to 30 hours online training session. Uh, on the left side you would see the VB script uh, with the topics that we cover what is supposed to be learned. So there are no specific prerequisites when you join the course. We start with the very basic and slowly move into the advanced concepts. So the first few hours of training go at a gradual pace so that you're able to understand the basics and the build the foundation in the right direction. Once we understand how the VB script basics work, you're able to parameterize and debug code. Then we get into uh, evaluating how can we repeat certain steps using conditions or if statements uh, and various loops what different types of data types can we use different constant variables classes methods and so on then we go into understanding uh, the basic structure of QTP be it the UI how a record and run is done uh, we understand objects all about objects the property repositories and so on actions and data tables are very important uh, from your learning of how we apply them in a real world uh, project. Uh, we then go into identifying how we write function libraries, create checkpoints uh, or use exist and a combination of get arrow property to uh, be able to still run tests without checkpoints uh, and then transactions and error handling primarily to say how we test these applications. Then we move on to learning a few more, few more advanced uh, concepts in QTP, uh, concepts like descriptive programming, why is it needed, when is it needed, uh, what are regular expressions, how do we use them, uh, recovery scenario managers. We go into things like shell scripting, Mercury device replay, uh, why do we need reporter events, automation object model. Uh, finally, uh, we do some database testing, understand how file system object access works. What, is, what are virtual objects, low level analog uh, recording modes uh, and also try and see how we could uh, identify and work with objects in a dynamic application which has dynamic content using child objects and descriptive programming. The last but most important part are the automation frameworks. Primarily uh, all that we do can multiply both in terms of the ease of maintenance 
and to be able to execute many many more test cases quickly using frameworks these are primarily a set of methodologies uh, a set of uh, uh, process driven uh, framework which helps us to execute to start from scratch and execute and build an entire test strategy within your organization so we'll try and learn what are the different types of frameworks why are they needed uh, what is data driven keyword driven and hybrid frameworks work on one or more framework projects and try and understand how we build everything from scratch ground up so these are the topics that we will cover in a 25 to 30 hours online training session which would also have lot of exercises that you will need to do offline and these exercises typically would last between 40 to 100 hours depending on uh, the amount of focus you do so ideally we're looking at about 100 plus hours of your time in learning this tool uh, my classes run Monday to Friday, one hour each day, and there are two different time slots. I will request you to contact me directly for them. So what do I use uh, to conduct this training and what does it make uh, this training effective? One is we use GoToTraining, which is a Citrix product for very interactive classroom-like environment. Here you have an opportunity to be able to see and hear what I'm doing on my system, be able to raise your hand, uh, unmute yourself ask me questions or send a chat message saying that hey can you repeat what you just said or here is a question from my end can you help me with it uh, the next is uh, a private forum on QTP that I created for batches starting uh, Jan of 2010 uh, and this is a great experience learning experience for every individual wherein you are able to come back with your questions post them there uh, and get it answered either by me or everyone else in the forum. You also have the opportunity to look at and see if uh, there are similar questions already being answered, have a quicker response to what you have in question, and be able to gain knowledge from the user experiences that everyone in our class is uh, facing. Uh, I have a great collection of tutorials and a great collection of documents uh, on QTP, automation testing and so on that will help to keep your learning curve constant even after the course ends uh, you would also have access to the scripts that we generate in the class and a collection of advanced scripts that you could use at your workplace finally uh, there is a focus towards uh, how you prepare towards interviews and how you perform your tasks in a daily manner at your workplace so to do that uh, interview part of preparation I will send you a good set of links where you could go and read through a good set of material on what kind of questions are asked and how your responses should be uh, what kind of questions are asked in QTP certification which is done by HP and how should you build your uh, profile and resume and be able to market it uh, thank you so much for your time I hope this short presentation gives you a starting high level overview about my training program so please feel free to contact me uh, either through email or the number you see on the top and I'll be glad to assist you in your learning process thank you